These are items to build Stephen Gibbs hyperdimensional resonator. First item that I'm putting on the list is the Radio Shack 272-10595 metallized film capacitor. It's blue. It's a 1K capacitor. Um, available at Radio Shack. Put it here. Uh, next, you need two of these. I only have one here. A 10K ohm linear table potentiometer. It's 2751715. It's a uh, linear taper, and you need two of these. And you put these. And with the knobs, let me show you the knobs. Let me get some knobs here. Okay, these are knobs. Um, from Radio Shack. Okay, take a look. It's a um, one and a half inch communications type control knob. And it's 274-4012. Package of two, you only need one package. Two knobs for the radio shack. And next item. Uh, these are 10K resistors. Stephen Gibbs usually uses 15K resistors, but originally he used 10Ks, so I guess you get away with using 10Ks. It's just like originally for the potentiometers, you use 75K ohm potentiometers and then after that he used um, 50k and I think 10k's are better but that's just me there's another thing you need three packets because you need a total of six the pack comes with two it's epoxy rectifier diodes and uh, that's what rectifies uh, 100 and 20 volt AC current and sends it to the electromagnet. So uh, that's more stuff for your HDR. This right here is a 12 volt lamp assembly. He uses a square lamp. I like the round lamp. Let me give you the number on this. It's 272 332 package of two but you only need one it's a lamp assembly use that for your HDR and this is banana plugs uh, there's the two types I get them both they're um, let me read it to you binding post to banana plug adapter package of two its number is 274-716 radio shack Let's see put it over there and last but not least the banana plugs um, and they are 274-721 package of two remember one is red, one is black. That's so you can set up the polarity for the electromagnet. Oh, yep, I forgot one thing. Toggle switches. So you can turn the machine on and off. And the number for the toggle switches is 275-324. Put that over here. And that's it. That's the stuff that you need to build your HDR, I'm sure I left something out. Okay, I got most of the stuff here though.